Hi everybody, I'm uh, Paul Southwick from Hallmark Aviation. We're Technam dealers in Melbourne, Australia. We are today at Essendon Airport at Platinum Aviation and we're going to be washing a really dirty aeroplane, making it look like new. So behind me, we have a Technam P2006T Mark II. You can see it's a twin engine aircraft, high wing. It's a great little trainer, one of the most popular trainers in the world. It's a four seat aircraft. As you can see, high wing, which is great in Australia. If you're landing on a, uh, a strip with stones or a dirty runway, the, the, the wings and the engines are, and the propellers are well up um, off the ground. This aircraft uh, will fly at about 135 to 145 knots, can fly for five plus hours, and uh, it only burns about 40 litres an hour in total uh, fuel. As you can see, it's a four-seater, lovely aircraft, retractable undercarriage. Yeah, beautiful aeroplane. So we're going to uh, wash that today. But that's just a little bit of a brief introduction to the aeroplane. Hi guys, I'm Cassian from Sanax, and today we'll be cleaning this airplane. So the first step we'll do is we'll hose off all the majority of the dust and dirt and stuff like that. And then we'll be going over with our Multistar. So the Multistar we introduced earlier, it's our all-purpose cleaner. It's very material compatible. So it'll be a very safe cleaner to use on these surfaces, but Sometimes you need that maximum type of like cleaning power to get rid of those like bugs and stuff on the leading edge of the, um, the wings. So we'll start with that. So just start with giving it a gentle spray off. All right, so it's um, super important that this first um, step that we take here is with a, a gentle but powerful cleaner. So, because we want to avoid all types of corrosion if we're using a very acidic or heavily alkaline cleaner, we'll be promoting corrosion in all parts of the plane. So that's where Multistar comes in really good. It's a concentrate, so we've obviously mixed that one to 10 here to be fairly sort of powerful, but still safe on the plane. So what we'll do is, all the areas that have some sort of contaminant on them or like a uh, insect or anything like that, we'll spray them down and let that sit for a little bit. So what we're going to do now that the Multistars sat there for a bit and like softened up all of that debris and whatnot, we've made a uh, bucket with a bit of gloss shampoo in there. So this is a one to 200 concentrate. So um, one litre really gets you like 200 litres of um, airplane wash solution. Um, and what we've done here is in this bucket, we've got a, uh, a multi sponge which has got the, the slightly more abrasive side and the ultra soft side. So the slightly more abrasive side can be used to um, loosen up all of that, uh, that dirt on the leading edge and stuff like that. But if there's something that's really stubborn, we can also use um, the, our specific insect sponge, which is covered in foam right now. But this has got a specific sort of grits in there, which will pick up those insects and stuff like that really nicely. So what we'll do is with these insects and stuff like that here, we'll grab our insect sponge and just gently massage on them until they're gone. With the Multistar having done the pre-work here, it's very easy to get these bugs off. Now we just do that for the rest of the plane as well. One of the other things uh, that I guess is a nuance of cleaning the airplanes is just how many different materials can be in the same space. See, you've got a natural composite propeller, which, which is mostly wood. Uh, with a rubber leading edge to there and then you actually got a metal leading edge here um, It's all painted uh, you got painted here and then this so this is actually a composite here uh, And then you've obviously got many different metals uh, aluminium magnesium certain uh, cast metals all through the engine along with more rubber hosing so in this one area here You've got five or six different materials that all need to be protected and looked after differently <laughs> We've got the majority of the of the dirt off. Um, we're now going to be sponging down the whole plane with our pH neutral soap, which is the gloss shampoo. It like conditions the paint really nicely and gives your plane like a really nice gloss at the end. As we're cleaning the plane, every stroke half overlaps the last stroke to make sure we don't miss any spots or anything like that. procedure for cleaning the landing gear because it gets the most sort of dirt and contaminants on it is I do a one to five mixture of the multi-star and I just drench the entire assembly in it and we let that sit for a couple of minutes and then we'll agitate it with a brush like this and then we can rinse it all off and all dirt will come out nicely. 
You want to pay attention to not wash out too much of this grease or anything like that because that's there for a reason. But yeah, that's the general gist of it. And we'll just use the brush to agitate that dirt, get it loose all over. And then after that, we'll hose it off. So now that concludes our cleaning session. So what we're going to do now is we're going to dry the, the entire airplane. So to dry the airplane, we're going to use this really high grade silicon blade, which prevents any like scratches or anything like that. But we'll only be using that on our painted surfaces. And after that, we'll be following up with our drying towel. So to get the majority of the water off, we just use this, this blade here. So now that's like gotten rid of approximately 90% of the water. That's when we go over with our drying towel, which will then get the rest of that off. So we've dried the whole airplane. We've got these micro pebbles left all over the airplane with like these very slight sort of marks, which you wouldn't be able to see on paint, but on this uh, Perspex window, you can see it a little bit. So that's why we're gonna go over with our clear glass. This is sort of our on the go size, but we also have it in a 10 liters. So what we do is we spray it over this and um, this Perspex is a very gentle um, sort of surface. So what we need to do is we have an ammonia free glass cleaner. Very important, otherwise we can damage this. And then, so on the outside, I'll give it a, a vertical wipe and on the inside, I'll give it horizontal wipes to make sure if we have any streaks left at the end, we know which side to attack them from as such. So the cloth I'm using here is a, it's a cotton based microfiber which is specific to make sure that we don't scratch the surface as well. And now for the very final touches, we're using Brilliant Shine Detail. It's like a polymer type sealant. It leaves a bit of paint protection for the next three or so months on your vehicle, on your airplane, and uh, makes it much easier to clean the next time you go to clean it as well. Give it a nice, good spray on the surface sort of thing. And then we use our plushiest microfiber. Just go over the surface, spread it until we have a nice, streak free finish as well. Gives an extra layer of protection too, which can minimize paint oxidation and uh, corrosion in certain spots as well. It's also silicon free. So to maintain and clean this leather, we use our leather care milk. It's got the jojoba oil in it, um, which is like a really nice way to nourish the leather and keep it as soft as possible and um, this is a very like good way to maintain it because it's also pH neutral. So what I do with it is I use our leather brush, give it a nice spray, and then I give it like a, a light brush, which gets rid of that dirt, but it also lets the, um, the conditioner basically go into the pores of the leather and soften it up. Right, we'll just use our microfiber and wipe off the residue that's left on the surface and that's an excellent way to treat the leather and give it a nice matte new finish at the end. Hey Lockie, we are done now with the job. You know, we cleaned the entire airplane, really job very well done. Thank you very much for your support. You know, your input was critical to get this airplane properly clean. We learned a lot, you know, we could have been a bit more systematic in the process, but I think the final result speaks for itself. A good car care chemical does wash an airplane extremely well too. So we're proud of that result. We brought practically everything into action, except we didn't polish anything, but the overall result, um, is we, are, we are happy with that. Thank you very much. So practically the aeroplane now looks brilliant. Like one of the great features um, Paul has pointed out at the beginning, the high wing makes it a little bit easier for us to clean underneath. So we learned a lot about cleaning the aeroplanes from you, Paul. Really appreciate your time and, uh, and, 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 and your guidance in this. What do you feel now about this um, little episode of cleaning an aeroplane? Well, I think um, my comment was I knew it would be good, but I didn't know it would be this good. Uh, we sell aeroplanes, we demonstrate aeroplanes, so it's always nice that someone's looking at an aeroplane if it looks brand new. And this aircraft's gone from being a year old, a little bit dirty, uh, not as dirty as we realized until we cleaned it, but now it looks like brand new, like it just came out of the factory. So. I'm very impressed with uh, the quality of the finish. You can feel it when you touch it. It's just beautifully smooth. There's no imperfections. Not just the, the paintwork, but the quality of the, uh, of the cleanliness of the uh, perspex. You know, as a pilot, you want it to be perfectly clear. Um, you don't need dots or marks on there, so that's perfectly clear. They've done a little bit of treatment on the wheels as well. The, the tyres have come up really well. So I don't think we could be happier, and I think we've shown that 
it's definitely inver with, worth investing a little bit of time and money in the very best products from a company, company like Sonax because it really makes a massive difference to the quality of your aircraft. So whether you're a, uh, someone looking to sell aircraft like us or a private owner who wants to be really proud of, of their aircraft, or it could be a car, but in our case, an aircraft, I think uh, Sinex are great products to use and um, we'll certainly be using them. And um, we won't be just using a brush and a bit of, uh, a bit of uh, dishwashing liquid anymore. We know better now. Thanks very much. Hey, Paul, it's been an absolute pleasure. You're a real legend. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks, guys. Thanks to the whole team. Airplane maintenance can be quite easy if you do it regularly. So what we did today was a very straightforward wash and then we sealed it off with Brilliant Shine Detailer and that will make it much easier for the next time we wash it. So this is all you really need to do to keep up the maintenance on the airplane in terms of cleanliness. Thanks for watching, guys. You can find more information at sanax.com.au.